So whether you are a small business owner, course creator, or even a blogger, lead generation is very, very important in your marketing strategy because it will help you grow your business. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you step by step how to create a lead generation funnel. And this one here is going to be basically giving something away for free. In this example, it's going to be a recipe and then it's going to go onto the thank you page. Now, this has been quite difficult to create in WordPress, but there's been a recent update in Cutflows, which allows us to create this really, really easy. And also, I'm going to be giving away my Divi lead generation template. This is only for a limited time only. So get it while it's available. So let me show you quickly what we're going to be creating in today's tutorial. If we take a look here at uh, this page, this is actually our landing page that we're going to be designing. So I'm just going to scroll down here. So this is where you enter your name and email address, and then it'll take you to the next step, which is the thank you page. And now over here, I've just added a few items which you can go in and customize to your liking. And then over here, we have the testimonials. And it has a cool hover effect here, as you can see. So I'll be giving away this template. Now let's take a look at also the other one, which is the thank you template. So this one here is just the basic thank you template. And again, you can add whatever text you want here. So this is how things are going to work. Visitors come to your website, they enter their name and email address, and then they get to the thank you page, as I've just shown you. I'm also going to add an extra step here whereby you start generating your leads. And in this example, we are going to be using ConvertKit because ConvertKit is very, very easy to set up. And I love the tag system they have. And recently, they've just introduced a free plan. So you can actually go on to uh, ConvertKit.com right now and sign up for your plan. So the reason why we need an email autoresponder in this system is this is how we're going to be collecting all our leads. We need to be able to send some promotional emails at a later stage throughout your business. This could be Black Friday events. This could be, you know, New Year's or whatever it is. So discounts are very, very important. And automating that system here is key in this whole structure. All right. So, oh, before I forget, in this tutorial, I'm going to be using Divi as my page builder to structure our pages. But you can use any other page builders out there. So if you haven't bought Divi yet and you'd like to learn how to design professional looking websites with Divi, if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I will give you access to my Divi blueprint course, which teaches you how to design professional looking websites with Divi. I'm just going to switch over to my WordPress admin dashboard. Once you've installed Cutflows, because this is the first plugin that you're going to need to install, it's called Cutflows. So to install it, you just come over here to plugins and click on add new. And then over here now, you just search for Cutflows and here it is. So mine is activated. So that's the first plugin that you need to install. Secondly, you want to install WooCommerce. And again, this is a free plugin. Okay. And again, you can see here that it's activated. Our leads are going to be on ConvertKit. So you may use a system like MailChimp if you need to. But like, like I said, in this example, I'll be using ConvertKit. So over here on ConvertKit, this is my account. So the very first thing we need to do is to come over here to the top right and click on account settings. So this is where we're going to be able to get our API key and our API secret. So I'm going to copy my API key here because we need this for the integration with WooCommerce. So over here, let's head over to WooCommerce, click on settings on integration. You are going to see ConvertKit. I'm going to choose ConvertKit here, add my API key. And now we need to add our API secret. So I'm going to come back over here, click on show, copy that and paste it. So now that I've added my API keys, I can just click on save changes. And pretty much we've created a connection between ConvertKit and WooCommerce. All right, great. The next stage now is to create our lead generation funnel. So to do that, we want to come over here to Cutflows, click on in fact, before we click our, before we can start creating our funnels, we need to head over here to settings first. So the first thing you want to do here is to make sure shell template designs with you choose Divi. But as you can see, there's Elementor, there's, Div, uh, there's Beaver Builder, and there's other. But hey, in this case, we use Divi, so we're going to select Divi. I'm going to click on Save Changes, and now let's build our sales funnel. So I'm going to come over here to Flows. Now let's create a brand new one. So you can click on create your own and let's design our own flow. So now this is going to add, you know, the steps we need in this sales funnel. 
Right, so we have the landing, uh, the sales landing page, the, woo, the checkout, woo, and the thank you. So let's just call this, what should we call this? Okay, let's call this sales funnel. So I'm just gonna click on update. So here's the thing. If you wanna create a funnel whereby you're giving something away for free first, what you need to do is to create a product <clears throat> in WooCommerce. So that's what we're gonna do now. So it's always highly advisable that if you wanna generate leads, you have to find something of value that you're going to give away for free in exchange for an email address. So in this case, or in this example, I'm giving away a recipe in exchange for the name and email address. But in your case, it could be anything. It could be gym membership. It could be free consultation. It could be, I don't know. There's a lot of things you can do to uh, give away for free. So there's, I mean, so many business models out there. You can just be creative enough to see what you can bundle and give away for free first before you collect the email. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come over here to my products, click on add new. So the product we're going to add here is my best recipe. Next, you wanna come over here, make sure it's, you activate or you check where it says virtual and also downloadable, because remember, we say this is gonna be a recipe. So here on the price, and this is very important, make sure you set this to zero because this is how the whole system is gonna know if this is going to be a free product. I've set my price here. Next, on my downloadable files, this is where I can add my file here. I can give the file name here, so I'm just gonna call this recipe. CP, choose file. Now, right now, my file is on my computer, so I'm gonna find it on my desktop, and here it is. So I'm just gonna select this file here, click open. Now, make sure it's zipped as well. It's important that you keep it zipped. So now, I'm gonna click on insert URL. So now, my URL has been inserted here. So pretty much everything is good so far. So that's all we need to do here, and uh, then we're just gonna click on publish. And uh, now, let's head over here to flows. This is the flow that we're working on it's called sales funnel and we click on edit now i'm just going to delete this sales landing because we don't need that pretty much we don't need this one too so i'm going to click ok now here's the thing for us to get this opt-in we need to click on add new step and then here you can see we have opt-in woo so we don't have any templates yet but uh, yet but the good news is i have a template for you so i'm going to click here on create your own designs create step all right, so you can see here, opt-in Woo has been installed. So I'm gonna drag it here on the top because that's the first step I need before we can get to the thank you page. All right, so now that we have all this set, the next stage is to click here on edit. Okay, now this is very important because this is where you're going to get to customize your opt-in. So here we're going to click on select product and what did we call that product again? Okay, my best recipe, here we go. So that's our product we're giving away for free. And then on the design here, there's also a few things that you can do. You can add your primary colors here. You can also play around with the font. Now in this case, uh, there's a font I used here called Monster Rat. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose that. And here, size is extra small. I'm just gonna set it to small. And also my font family. So this is where I'm just gonna you know, set my Font and make sure everything is consistent with my design. And right now the font weight is thin. I'd rather have it at about 400. And where, where else? Submit button. By default, the button will say submit, but you wanna you know, add whatever text you want on this button. So I'm gonna say, download my recipe. And for the font size, okay, let's set it to 16, monster at. But you can add, you know, you can use whatever fonts you have for your designs. So the size here is going to be medium, and pretty much I think I'm done here. So I've set my fonts and I've also sent my, my sizes. Okay, so now that we've set all this, let's head over here to form fields. So here, if we activate custom field editor, uh, this is where now you can disable the last name if you don't need it. So I highly recommend that you don't add the last name because uh, you know it's sensitive information. So you may want to leave that. The next thing here is to click on this little drop down and make sure this is set to 100%. So that just means that the, um, the form item fills the whole uh, width. Okay, so that's 100%. Pretty much that's all I need to do here. I'm gonna click update. Okay, so now that we have this, now let's enable the visual builder because this is how we're going to design our you know, landing page. So I'm gonna click here on use the DV builder. So this is going to open the Divi Builder as we know it. So pretty much how it works as we design our, our websites is pretty much the same. I'm gonna click here on build from scratch. And then the next step now is to import my template, which I'm giving away for free. And like I said, 
get it while it's still free because I'm going to be selling all these templates. All right, so over here now, I'm gonna click here on this two, these two arrows here, okay? The one pointing up, one pointing down. Select that, click import. Now I'm gonna choose my file. So I'm gonna click here on my file. And I think it's in the downloads folder here. Oh, there we go. So that's my landing, click open and then import Divi Builder layout. So that's importing all my designs now into Divi. So everything has been imported, no errors, click update. Right, so now let's open this in a new tab and let's take a look at the page and see if our design has been added. Okay, so as you can see here, our design has been added, but, and this is one thing that I think, uh, or in my opinion, Cutflows needs to address because by default, this template here is set to Cutflows boxed. And to be honest, I, I don't think anyone wants to design these templates in a boxed design like this. Click over here where it says template and then click on template for page builders. So you choose that, click update. And now if we come over here to our page and refresh, our design now is complete. So this is our landing page. I'm gonna scroll down here and you can see everything has been imported and even our hover effects is working fine. Now you may be thinking, hey Mac, where's the header? To be honest, on landing pages, you don't really need headers and footers because it just distract, distracts from the main message. Okay, so that's looking great. You can see here it says download my recipe. Great. Let's come over here now to our thank you page because we also need to create our thank you page. So I'm gonna click back to edit flow and then I'm gonna go into my thank you here, click on edit. And again, you can see here it says cut flows boxed. Let's address this right away. Click update. Right, let's use the Divi Builder here. And again, as we did before, build from scratch. I'm gonna close this. And then I'm gonna use these two arrows here, portability, click on import, select my file. And this time it's the thank you. Click open, import Divi Builder layout. And then I'm gonna click on update. So pretty much no errors, everything looks good. So make sure you follow these steps step by step. So now that I've uh, installed my templates, all I have to do now is to view this page. And there we go, it looks great. But now it says order not found, blah, 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 blah. It's not an error. What happens is this information will show once you've gone through the whole process of signing up for that free, uh, for that free item. All right, so let's go into incognito mode. Here's our URL. This is our landing page. So when visitors come to your website or your promotion, this is the page they see. Let's add, let's add our email address here. So Augustine, um, my email address, there we go. Download my recipe. See, now it takes me to my thank you page. Now this is really cool. So it shows me pretty much everything here that relates to my order. So here is my downloads uh, section. So if I click here on download, you can see I've just downloaded my recipe and it's right here on the bottom left. So pretty much this is how the thank you page works, but you know what you can also do on that thank you page, you can add uh, even more upsells to other products or other services that you may want to promote or sell on your own website. So the thank you page can be used in so many creative ways. But as you can see here, these two steps have been added and things are looking all good. Now you may be thinking, well, what about the lead generation? And you know what, <laughs> let me show you that. I'm in ConvertKit now, I've just refreshed it. And you can see here, my name has been added and this is now our mailing list. And then if we take a look here on the product, my best recipe has been added. My account here, you can see this is me, that's my uh, email address. So let's say now you want to send a broadcast email to all buyers or people that have bought products on your website. What you do now is you come over here and click on broadcasts. And then you can click on create new broadcast. And here you can choose uh, based on your filters. I'm gonna go to products and then my best recipe, add filter. As you can see right now, we only have one person, but let's say you had a thousand people there. This is where now you can go to your next step and compose your email with your offers, your discounts, your coupon codes, whatever it is, and then, you know, set it. So as you can see, our system here 
works as it's intended. And if you follow the steps step by step, you will be able to achieve this without any problems. So this is what we were trying to achieve. So we've managed to add our opt-in. We added our name, email address, and then it took us to the download page. And while that was happening behind the scenes, a user, in this case myself, was added onto ConvertKit. And now I have all my leads on ConvertKit, which means I can do a lot of promotional stuff with it. All right, so that does it for today's video. Tell me what you think. If you really like the video, you know what to do. Give me a lot of thumbs up. And also do subscribe on my YouTube channel. By doing so, you'll be notified every time I release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.